in the 70s for, I guess, the past three or four days um, where I live. So I just couldn't stand it. I had to get up here and check out my asparagus ferns. Are you familiar with asparagus ferns? Because if you're not, you need to be. They are so hardy and so beautiful. So I'm going to walk you up here. Um, I actually keep them inside the barn during the winter. They overwinter in there and they do great. And then when I bring them out, a lot of the needles fall off and they're a little bit brown, but they just perk right back up and they love getting back out in the sun, just water them a little bit, hang them up where they were uh, back in the fall. And they're wonderful. So they, they just sit right in here. Um, this is right inside. We've got a roll up door, like a garage door. And I just set them in here during the winter. And this winter, they fared really well. Last year when I did this, they sat in here and lost a, pretty much all their needles and turned pretty brown. Um, but this year, they have not minded being in here. So today I'm just taking them out to the sunshine and I'm gonna hang them up where they go, give them a little water and um, get ready for spring. I've got this one hang up. I just hang it on a small shepherd hook. I'm gonna get part sun, part shade. Um, a lot of people say they need a lot of shade, but mine do quite well in the sun. I've got two over here that I will take to the front porch and I hang those on the front porch, which is pretty shady. And they tend to not get as big as this one. Um, I find that they just love the sun. It is early March, which is very early to me. And if we get a cold snap, all I'll do is take them off the hook, take them inside for overnight or ever how long, and they'll be just fine. It's so much easier when they're in pot and you can take them in and out. These are the two that I have brought out to the front porch. Um, you can see, see how they've got the long stems coming out. That's just showing that, you know, it was a little stressed over the winter. You can trim them off, you can leave them. I mean, they'll put out more green. I'll probably trim them up a little bit because they do look a little wild, uh, but I've watered them and then I'll hang them up on these little chains on my front porch where they'll get afternoon sun and they should be beautiful. Something else that you might want to know about asparagus ferns is they're easy to split. So once they get about this size, you can easily take them out of the pot. Um, and I just take a saw, just cut them in half right down the middle. You're not going to mess up the roots. They're, um, they've got kind of like a, a tuber root system that's very thick. So you really need something that'll cut through a thick root ball. Uh, cut it in half and instantly you have two plants. So uh, they're just wonderful little plants. So hope you get to um, experience an asparagus fern.